Today was a special day. Mm -hmm. Next, the laundry, groceries. Putting away groceries is like the worst. It's being a bit of a content creator, like just trying to find time to balance and juggle everything, but yeah. Yay! Happy Sunday! It is Sunday guys and today we just came back from Costco. I brought my camera with me. I filmed little snippets. I'll probably insert a few little snippets here but they're filmed in real style because I forgot the camera in the car. Y'all, when I tell you that Costco was crazy busy today, it was crazy. But anyways, we're gonna have a little chit chat with you guys as well as show you all the stuff that we just got. Look how much groceries we picked up. This isn't even it, guys. Look at this. We needed to do a proper grocery haul. It's been a long time coming since Christmas. We were we had bought a lot of stuff and basically just didn't want to keep picking up more things until we kind of used up what was in our fridge. Mm. Then actually for the new year, we got into the habit of just running to a local grocery store here and there, especially since this one pulled us, pulled us back out. Yeah. So we just needed to finally, we're back at that stage where we just need to get, get it together and pick up what we need to buy in bulk because the prices, the prices are just not, they're just not friendly out there. So um, that being said, we picked up a bunch of stuff and honestly, I have like a little bit of a model for this year. Anyways, I'm gonna go into details about it after. I'll talk about it after because honestly, anyway, so I had to go replace the battery, but yeah, it's Sunday and today we wanna just take it kind of easy. Like it's just been, I don't know, it's just been going, going, going and I just wanna take it easy. I don't wanna cook today. So we're having pizza, which is kind of in the midst of the grocery. So we do have some perishables, some frozen stuff that I wanna get out real quick. I'll show you, I'll show you a quick glimpse of those before before I show you the rest of the stuff because we want to pause and eat the pizza while it's hot So let me give you a quick rundown. We still have our bag here to unpack if you guys remember I grabbed this bag from a I don't remember what they call it, but it's called my zebra tribe bag I love it for groceries. I kind of wish I had a bunch of these but anyways, we grabbed a bunch of our organic milk two packages Y'all, we bought some cold cuts and this is the oven roasted chicken breast. When I tell you this is good, it is good. And I'm not one that even likes cold cut because it's usually loaded with salt. We grabbed tilapia. And we also have a large package of chicken breast. I will divide this and this will be used to make dinner maybe two or three times. Um, we grabbed some ice cream, vanilla, and just, what is this one? Moose tracks, These, this is for eating. Well, they're both for eating, but I do like to use this to make like milkshakes for the kids. We grabbed some yogurt, eggs of course, cheese. Also bought the, some yaps. Um, I showed you guys the other chicken that we bought, which was a cold cut chicken, but we also picked up this chicken breast. I really like these guys. Last time we actually bought one and I, it was a such a turn off, I didn't like it. So I'm always hesitant about buying stuff like this. These were actually really good. They're not super salty and they don't feel like wet and slimy like the other ones did. And we grabbed some butter, some unsalted butter. We also grabbed some pizza pops. Okay guys, so because I live in a house filled with lots of women, <laughs> we have lots of girls. We're getting lots and lots of help to put the stuff away, which is pretty usual for us. We're very fortunate for that. They also came with us grocery shopping, so that was very, very helpful, right girls? Yeah. <laughs> but they also love it, because they get to tell us what to put in the cart. Did I mention you know what I mean. the <laughs> Did I mention what the total was? I think I I tried to film a little snippet of that, like guess the total, so I'll insert that here. Our total was $700, but today was a special day. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Our check. Oh yeah, because we got our Costco check and it literally covered, let's see, let's see if I can do math, okay? Let's see. I'd say three-fifths of that, right? Because I paid like three something and it was $700. So somewhere, yeah. um, somewhere in there, it covered a pretty portion, a, a pretty good portion of it. Yes, honey? You ready to eat pizza? You changed already? Look at you. This, this girl is such a homebody. She came in and she was like, I just want to get in my pajamas. So here she is in her pajamas. Hi, say hi. You already have a fruit station open, Zavi. It's right here. You already are rating, rating the food. Wait, how many? This is third? No, it's the one. 
A package? Mm -hmm. Welcome to um, Big Family Life. It's seven hundred dollars worth of groceries, but like I said, um, it's a little bit bigger because we knew we had a ton of stuff to pick up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick the rest of the stuff that we grabbed. And the, while the girls are putting away a lot of the frozen stuff, so we do have a deep, a big freezer in our um, garage, which is where we store a lot of things that we're not necessarily using on the regular or just using just yeah basically every day because we wouldn't have enough space in the freezer that that they give you <laughs> on a fridge cucumber where's the cucumber yeah Yay! Yay! cucumber where is the lemon where's the lemon lemon is sour yellow and sour the yellow lemon. Yes, that's the lemon. Very good. Mm, where's the the peach? The peach. Where's the peach? That's a pineapple. Where's the peach? P -p -p peach. Oh, that's the p -p pepper. Where's the p -p peach? The peach is is here. Peach. Yum 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 yum. Peach. Yay. Good job. Oh my goodness, Zoe. No, Zoe. Zoe. Are you jamming over here? Boy, what? Where's the? Oh, oh, where, where's the? Oh, where's guys, so I we wrapped up our supper. Oh my gosh, it was actually really, really good. Something simple. Before I show you the remainder of the grocery haul, I just wanted to touch base real quick, and I wanted to show you um, I, an item that I picked up. I picked up Prince Harry's book. I am curious about this story. I've been hearing a lot about it, and I really wanted to get it when it first came out. But I, I actually had another book that I am currently kind of reading and dabbling into so I didn't want to commit right away not to mention the price I feel like I wanted to like look around shop around because it was like $37 when it first came out and I did just get it at Costco for 26 so this is gonna be on my agenda I'm excited guys for 2023 I said to myself okay I just I do want to make time for myself I find that you know and I know I'm not the only one lots of moms can relate to this where you just kind of lose yourself you get lost and you immerse yourself into your role every day in and out investing all your time in your family and your yeah your family your kids your husband whatever and you um you kind of lose yourself and I'm especially me too being a bit of a content creator like just trying to find time to balance and juggle everything but yeah I, one thing i'm gonna do is find time for myself and one thing i love to do is read so yeah i'm glad i picked that up leave a comment down below let me know if you guys are avid readers and also if you've picked this book up and have read it don't spoil anything for me but just let me know what your, your take is on it is that backwards i'm asking for that and i haven't read the book yet I don't know. Also, in regards to the grocery haul, I wanted to point out something. I found that I just want to reel it in a little bit and pay a closer attention to the things that I'm picking up. I want to make sure that when I'm picking up certain things, it's going to get eaten. Things that I'm referring to are mostly like fruits and veggies. Actually, those are the things that are the most expensive. People don't reach for, I find that the kids and even hubby, they don't reach for things unless I'm like, here, take it put it in their faces let me know if you guys ever if you guys understand what I'm talking about so yeah not that I'm gonna stop buying veggies and fruits or anything like that but I am just gonna cut back in buying the, the the quantity that I typically used to buy I think when it comes to certain things because I'm so sick and tired of throwing out fruits and veggies that's pretty much like what I wanted to say so I want to say like for 2023 just be a little bit more mindful remember like things are things are getting pricier and, and the worst part is most people aren't getting paid more so if everything is going up and your paycheck is the same like most people don't have a lot of room to just be wasteful when everything has gone up and their pay is staying the same so anyways I'm not trying to lecture you let's get into the rest of the haul you guys i think i really i briefly showed you the produce we did buy clementines i was hesitant about this one because i always tell hubby when we buy clementines people don't eat them up i'll eat them here and there but they're not my favorite they are high they're high acidic fruits so um he said he'll be eating those so i pray that he eats them and this thing right here it's a, like a decorative um 
it's a decorative like saucer type thing but i am actually going to use it as a fruit bowl i'm going to put my fruits and stuff on here and see what it looks like so stay tuned for what that looks like i've never done that before i'm going to try this new thing in the new year just because i figured maybe we do have a fruit bowl in our kitchen but i figured if the fruits are visible here maybe people will gravitate towards them more but i'm also going to test out to see what happens with the apples because i am a big store of apples in the fridge so do the apples get eaten more from here do they get do they last longer in the fridge i'm basically going to do this test I also grab some grapes some juice boxes so grab some mini ritz grab some non croissants if you're a viewer you know those are basics those are things we always get the kids wanted to get these cookies we've gotten them before they have the soft one and then they have these crunchy ones they grab this because they want to carry them to school for snacks recently we've picked up special k and man i it's funny how this is in the family size box but the family size box is so small in comparison to the typical boxes but this has been good i've been enjoying that we've got bread and i picked up two breads because bread does go fast especially with the kids taking it for lunch they use it to make sandwiches or whatever so i'm gonna throw two pa two in the freezer and then this is the bread i've been eating and i really love is this organic 12 what is it 12 grain organic organic 21 whole grain and seeds bread really really good we've got some sunny d and of course someone's already gotten into it because that's what happens when you got a big family some pasta english muffins these nutella snacks grab the big assortment of chips my how many chips do you get you get 54 sacks in here which is really good but the box is so big it took up so much space in the car so some of the non-grocery related items that i got were i didn't know that they had this this dawn platinum guys this this dawn stuff is really really good i've been using it to clean like this one time the kids got Z zabby and zoe got marker on our brand new floors the dawn really helped to get it off you didn't even notice it, it took a little elbow grease but it worked so anyways i use it for cleaning certain things and i definitely want to refill our soap dispenser by the sink we also grabbed some cetaphil lotion i just want to keep this one downstairs in the main bathroom just so when we're um going out the door we can moisturize ourselves you know instead of having to run all the way back upstairs babe's got himself some briefs we got we got batteries we couldn't decide if we had batteries already i think we did but batteries were on sale so it still worked out because we use batteries because there's a lot of toys in this house and we got ourselves some disinfectant wipes do y'all remember when that was hard to come by because for a long time we couldn't get our hands on that stuff and it was so much harder when you got pets and you got kids and yeah it's just so easy to disinfect things really quickly grab some huggies katie and some lettuce which is starting to go brown all the lettuce was start, starting to go brown so we're gonna have to kind of just wash this and put it in the salad crisper it definitely lasts much longer in there and then i grabbed myself a little i grabbed myself a pair of sweatpants if i can find them but i wanted to get a pair of just plain gray sweats oh my pants is falling off plain gray sweats i like these because it does have this little um ankle part to prevent if you're prevent you from dragging your pants on the ground these were $19.99 they looked really cute so I grabbed those that's also a part of my new year's resolution is to just be mindful when I go into Costco and remember that when I go in there I'm going in there to pick up groceries and not all the other things like this is how they get me but I do like their clothes and I do like the quality they last a long time i've always bought stuff there and i cannot complain so yeah but that being said i still have to be mindful of what i pick up when i'm there but that's it guys that is it for my grocery haul this is the worst part next to laundry groceries putting away groceries is like the worst there's just so much stuff to put away especially when you're buying a lot of stuff and we already put away a big chunk of it because we have a freezer and that's where a lot of that stuff went but now i've got to pack away this and i'm going to also use my fancy dancy containers that i have inside the fridge to do a little organizing so i'll give you all a little snippet i'm not going to bore you with the i don't know going through it again maybe i could have done that in an organizing video for my mommy channel which i have not posted on yet so i might just do that but um yeah i'll show you guys a glimpse of what it looks like after
<laughs> so guys, it is currently 12 o'clock. Ask me what we're doing mm -hmm. up at 12. What are you doing up at 12? You should be in bed what? to go to school. You know me. I'm actually up till 2. <laughs> I mean, what? This is a night owl. I was just editing the vlog and I realized that I didn't come back to close today's vlog. But um, yeah, overall today was a great day. It was actually, it was really good. <laughs> and you know, usually when Sundays come around, all I can think about for some reason, it's the next day of school. Mm -hmm. But today was really good. Today was nice. really good. I totally forgot our Sunday. <laughs> we don't usually go to Costco on a Sunday. It's usually a Saturday thing for us, but we ended up going there today. And man, what like just like I said in the beginning of the vlog, it was crazy. So um, that was a little bit different. But yeah, we came home. Just did basic try to you know do all the Saturday things that we, because if we had gone grocery shopping yesterday, we would have been able to put do all those things yesterday. We ended up just chilling on the couch after <laughs> watching old school, uh, old school movies. What did we oh. watch? We watch Even Stevens. So that's from my generation. Well, maybe yeah, it's like my generation or my or in between. Yeah. And the parent trap. Yeah, and the parent trap because we <laughs> wanted Zoe to see that. So that was really good. They were really fun, feel good movies. And it was so nice. To we haven't watched those in years. We haven't watched those in a long time. But um, yeah, we just chilled and watched those and got the kids in bed. Babes has gone to bed. I think he's going to attempt to work tomorrow because he's been off for two weeks because his back has been injured. So that will, things will be different, I guess. <laughs> um, the whole house has been like uprooted and things have been like upside down for the past just two weeks because you know how routines are. Things are just thrown out of whack when everything is, when just things are not, you know. Exactly, yeah. Just yeah when things aren't flowing the same so anyways i was telling charlotte i like her hair by the way i like charlotte's like this she does her hair so okay. when we're, we're making videos and stuff she does her hair and comes down here looking like this and then for school she'll just wear it in like a bun what the heck's up with that <laughs> what's up with that because during school it's just like i don't want to take any time to do my hair in the morning ignore because frizz by I, the way it does i don't know why it does. It's our, the motor on the ice machine. I think Charlotte and I have like literally have just put it. Well, it's not our fault, but we do use it's the ice machine. It's just not strong enough. <laughs> it's weak. It's weak. Speak, well, we're just about to finish up one of our semesters, and it feels like a year. Getting yeah, old. they're school. They're wrapping up their semester for school, yeah. and next semester is right around the corner. Are you guys are all excited? I'm so excited. Oh. It has everything I want in it. That's nice. So, yeah, I am. I know those semesters where. You get like exactly what you want versus, you know, things yeah. that you, courses that you have to do. That it's not they're entirely bad either because learning is fun. Learning can be fun, but they're just more challenging, so you have to put more work into them. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I'm gonna end this because if we keep talking, I'm gonna feel like I'm editing a whole other vlog. So, um, common question of the day for you guys is. What vlogs do you, what kind of vlogs do you want to see on this channel? Do you want to see Day in the Lives? Because Day in the Lives, like I said, it's usually when I'm vlogging myself and the kids, and I kind of have to just wait till the other ones come home, which kind of, you know, yeah. not not to you guys, because you guys are home home early, but yeah. then I kind of have to wait till like dad arrives and stuff, just so he's in the vlogs. Yeah. But what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see more fun stuff? Do you want to see more sit down? Do you want to see more Q and A's or? you know like the fun types of things that we do on TikTok should we bring it over here or do you want to see stuff like this that I'm posting today I don't know so leave a comment let me know what you guys want to see for 2023 um I've also said I want to do a couples challenge so if you guys have questions uh, feel free to even put them underneath this video I'm going to make a separate heading in the in the um a community tab section maybe they can all be collected there and maybe also on Instagram so yeah give us this feedback and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe oh and um, as a bonus question we should ask them comment what's your favorite high school course right now if you're in high school and if you're not <laughs> in high school comment what was <laughs>